Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for the week of July 31st. Uh, this week, we are just going to jump right in here, Taurus, and see uh, what is going on for you. You have this Phoenix card. It says, they couldn't stop you. You're coming back stronger. At first, I read that as they couldn't stop you if they tried. So there you go. <laughs> you have this unseen card. It says, though you don't see it now, there's something better. I literally just said this to Virgo that... You know, we are kind of like in this time where I feel we feel like we're going down, you know, like maybe things are decreasing, like energy is decreasing, or maybe we feel like our finances or, you know, something else in our life is decreasing, but we're actually like, I feel like we're on the way up. So, you know, I do feel that a lot of people kind of feel this type of energy where it could feel like things are uh, going down, but at the same time, I actually feel where uh, things will be improving uh, over the next, you know, between now and like the end of the year, basically. So, um, you know, I like to see that you have the 10 of swords. I don't like to see that, but <laughs> you have the 10 of swords, the king of swords and the two of swords, literally something unseen on the, you know, you can see here that she has this blindfold on her face on that unseen card and the two of swords, she has a blindfold on as well. Um, so, you know, again, I feel like there's something better coming in for you and even, the Two of Swords, which I'll show you in a minute, uh, kind of represents a better opportunity or something better coming in for you in a short period of time. So I do feel like something better is coming in. You can see here that she has this new island behind her. And I always say that she's only seeing two options. And the two options, you know, she's seeing her this or that, but there's a third solution behind her. There's like a, you know, I call it a third place card because it kind of represents like a third place solution, something better that no one has ever thought of. So I feel for a lot of you that you could be looking into third place solutions or you need to look into third place solutions. I'm a big fan of third place solutions. I think that they could potentially save the world. So, you know, if you have any crazy ideas, as I always say, now is the time. <laughs> now is the time to embrace those ideas or to realize what a blessing those ideas could be. You have the 10 of swords here. So something has ended in your past. Uh, this first row represents your past position. And so, you know, I feel there was, you are coming off of a difficult ending or like the death of something, but he is making this symbol right here with his hands. And it's the same symbol that the Hierophant is making. So I always say, you know, the Ten of Swords, number one, it's really not that bad of a card because he's dead. It does not get much worse than that, right? It's like, once you're dead, that's it. <laughs> so, so, you know, it, again, it's not really a bad card. And number one, number two, Again, it represents a blessing or a blessing in disguise. So I do feel there could be a blessing coming in for you. You have the King of Swords. Could be a past person that has like left you or so, or someone who's being cold to you or something like that with the King of Swords. So I do feel, so, and it doesn't have to be a man. Could be whatever gender you're into. And so, you know, could be a person that you've been dealing with. Uh, for others, I do get a very direct energy here though. Look at this, you know, going through the middle here, you go to the Chariot. Chariot is very focused energy. He is kind of moving away from the city. He's making himself unique on the chariot card and he's charging towards a victory. He doesn't know where he's going. That's the other thing. He's, you know, the two sphinxes represent the mysteries of the universe in front of him. And he is just trusting that they are guiding him uh, based off of his vibrations. He has the stars in his canopy, the moons on his shoulders, which represents as above, so below. So he is trusting that the, they're picking up the vibration he's sending out basically and leading him to, to a victory. So, you know, again, it's like something unseen. There is, there is a mystery here. Taurus, uh, sorry, you have, with, with the uh, Ten of Swords, you have the Eight of Wands, uh, quick success coming in for you. Uh, I would be careful of someone from the past coming back and communicating with you. You know, Eight of, eight of Wands could be communication, but with the Ten of Swords there, it could be something that's dead done over with. So, you know, I, I would definitely be careful of that, especially with a Venus retrograde. And with the King of Swords, you have the King of Wands here. Uh, definitely could be a fire sign coming in for you if you're looking for new love. Uh, for others... I kind of feel like you need to boldly move into the unknown here or towards something that is unseen. You know, you have the three of wands, which says you see an opportunity. So what are you waiting for? The 10 of wands is probably, <laughs> you know, the responsibilities that you have in your life. And the chariot says, well, guess what? You need to do it anyway. You know, I always say my favorite book, of one of my favorite books of all time, uh, The War of Art, you know, in that book, he says that, um, you know, most of the reasons why you can't do something are exactly the reason why you need to do something. And so I kind of feel that here with the 10 of wands, that the, the, the reasons you could be saying like, oh, I have all these responsibilities, but also, if you would just move towards this uh, victory, maybe like starting a business, you know, over time, you would be able to eliminate a lot of these responsibilities that are weighing you down because you could pay to have them fixed or removed or, you know, whatever. So I feel it's time. 
with the two of swords, here you go, tower. Definitely, we already know that there was a tower moment uh, in the past. It could have been like a little bit of a blindsiding energy. Again, sometimes I find, you know, we had Saturn recently-ish move into Pisces. And, you know, sometimes I feel when Saturn moves uh, signs that, that it can represent you know, blindsided energy. It's not uh, accurate tarot, or not, that's not accurate astrology. That's like Chris's crappy astrology. But I've just noticed like a lot of people have been experiencing blindsiding energy where like things come out of nowhere and a big change shakeup happens like a tower moment. And, um, you know, but again, I think it's the, it's the times that we're in. The good news is you literally have the star right here, which is probably the best thing you could ask for because the star comes up after the tower and the star represents healing from a tower moment. So I feel like you are healing from it. Uh, next in the area of what you need to hear right now, you have this sunny day card. It says optimism leads to success. You're going in the right direction, chariot uh, and optimism, chariot. Uh, you have this card that says it will take a while. Keep a good attitude while you wait. Make a decision when you feel your best. Yes, trust your intuition, trust your feelings as well. You have the king of cups. He has very deep emotions, the king of cups, but he could also represent uh, you know, the fact that he trusts how he feels about something. If he feels like he should do something, he doesn't need anything else. He he just trusts that, you know, his feelings are guiding him towards success, which I feel like comes up for you quite a bit. You have the Queen of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, and the Star card. The Queen of Pentacles is a card of resourcefulness. So I feel you are very resourceful at this time. Uh, and I would I would keep being resourceful or I would tap into your resources. You know, I know for a fact, I've probably said this to you before, that we are in a time of leverage. So, you know, I would be looking at, you know, things that you can do. Um, you know, I, I would be looking at ways to get more from the work that you do, right? <laughs> and again, it's kind of like a hard, sometimes I think it's like a hard concept, but it's really not that hard. You know, it's like I take my readings, I do quotes for my readings, I post them on Instagram, for example. It's like, I'm getting more out of the work I'm already doing, right? So it's like, are there things in your life where you can get more out of the work that you do? Um, there are other things as well. It's like, if you have people who steal your energy, then get new relationships, for example. That's like another way that you can get more out of your energy. It's like if you find people who actually lift you up and you lift them up, then there's no wasting energy, right? You're becoming more efficient. You're using leverage. But we all, you know, again, we all waste time on something. So, <laughs> you know, it's like, can you remove things that steal your resources? And I don't think we have to be perfect, right? I think as long as we're like 51%, you know, uh, kind of paying attention and 49% not paying attention, I think that that 1% difference is all it really takes, right? Uh, with the three, you have the three of wands, which is like, what are, you, what are you waiting for? There is clearly a new opportunity or something that you see as a big opportunity here. Uh, for some of you, I do feel it could be love. You have the king of cups and page of cups here. So it could be a water sign, could be any sign. Uh, you know, this is a general reading. I'm also getting fire as well, uh, which I'm pretty sure you always get fire with me. And the three of wands is kind of like make your move or, you know, make a move towards this. Like if someone's asked you out, say yes, or go on a date or something like that. The three of wands also expansion and the star. It can also represent kind of expansion. Not really, but um, you know, the star can represent doing something bigger than yourself. It's about having a North Star. And as I say to every single person, if you don't have a North Star, you're crazy. Cause with Pluto and Aquarius, I think we should all have something uh, like have some sort of purpose. And it's not, it doesn't have to be like a purpose, right? <laughs> it could just be something that's important to you. Or um, maybe you want to spread the word about, you know, the benefits of eating walnuts or something. I don't care what it is. I would just do it. It could just be anything, like whatever, whatever your heart is telling you to do. It doesn't matter how big or how small it is. So uh, let's see what is going on here. With the Queen of Pentacles, you have the Ten of Pentacles, yeah, I mean, every single reading, you get the Ten of Pentacles because, uh, I don't know, Jupiter in your sign, Uranus in your sign. It's all about building, le leaving a legacy, literally. <laughs> so anything you could do to do that would be a good idea. With the Three of Wands, yes, you expanding, you becoming the highest vibration version of yourself, the Hierophant, probably the most powerful version, you know, it's like I consider the Hierophant to be more powerful than the Emperor. You know, the Emperor and the Empress. You have the Emperor, the Empress, and then you have the Hierophant and the High Priestess. And, you know, they're both divine counterparts. But to me, the High Priestess and the Hierophant are like powerful than the Emperor, more more powerful than the Emperor and the Empress. Even the Hierophant is the bridge between the heavens and the earth. So it's like he, not only is he very, has like very wise, he has a lot of wisdom and knowledge, uh, but he communicates with both sides. He's able to create his own reality. So, you know, I feel some of you are literally doing that. With the star, here you go, you have the world. Definitely a victory coming in for you or some sort of achievement. You know, two cards of achievement here. 
So I feel like there could be a win. Some of you could be traveling or moving as well. And uh, you know, this looks pretty good for travel or moving. Uh, next in the area of the unexpected, you have this card that says, remember many of the clouds casting shadows aren't real. There you go. Uh, don't let people suck the air out of your spirits. Yeah, it's funny because I said to someone else this week, I don't remember who it was, but it's like people suck right now. So again, I would be careful of like allowing the negative Nellies to get you down or, you know, tell you that you can't do something. And, you know, again, I feel there is a lot of that ener that type of energy going on. So I would make sure that you just stay focused and, you know, don't worry about what other people say. You have the Fool, the Ten of Wands, and the King of Cups. The Fool is about taking a leap of faith towards something uh, much more successful in your life. And that's what I feel like you're doing. You go from the world to the Fool, and that's how the Major Arcana works. We go from, you know, we go from the Fool to the world, and then we start all over again as the Fool. So there's clearly, um, you know, a major new beginning coming in for you. You also have this lizard, lizard spirit, and it says, dream the world into being. And we're gonna talk about that in a minute, but that is like my favorite card in that deck, Taurus. Um, the Wisdom of the Animal Oracle or whatever it's called, I can never remember. But, um, you know, that one there. And, you know, I feel this is saying, you're stepping into this new world, dream, you know, imagine what you want to create it. You have the Ten of Wands. Yeah, I feel like there are a lot of responsibilities and things that are kind of weighing you down. I would try to remove as many of these things as you can right now. You know, it's like if there are things that you're, you know, like we all have those people that suck up a bunch of time. We all have those bad habits that suck up a bunch of time. So I feel if you could get rid of a couple, you know, just a couple of things that would really lighten the load and it would make things a lot easier for you right now. There are also things that I think that are responsibilities that we can do that would also lighten the load or that could do some heavy lifting for us, right? Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't really have any good examples, but <laughs> it, that it doesn't matter. What I would say is, you know, again, there are probably things that you can do that would make th that would kind of remove some stresses. Like this year, I started actually doing what I should have done years ago, which was, you know, building an email list for this YouTube channel, right? Because I don't know, YouTube's doing some weird stuff lately, and I, you know, who the hell knows, right? So it takes a lot of stress off my mind because it's like I can, uh, you know, um, reach out to you, all of you <laughs> without needing YouTube to do to do it, right? So it's like, are there things in your life that you can do to remove some stresses, right? Uh, you have this King of Cups. I do feel there could be a King of Cups type person coming in for you if you're looking for love. Definitely could be a water sign. I also do feel this is encouraging you to kind of tap into your emotions. He's sitting in the middle of the ocean and he's very tapped into how he feels about the things that he wants, the things that he wants to create in his life, all that stuff. So, you know, I feel like you need to make sure that you're tapped in at this time. Uh, with the Fool, you have the Temperance card. Yeah, you've been very patient. Could be a fire sign coming in for you, Sagittarius right here. But, um, you know, I feel like this is saying, you know, I, I feel like the best direction for your life is a new direction is pretty much what this is saying or to work on something new. You know, the temperance card is about turning one thing into another. And, you know, here's the other thing as well. I don't think you necessarily have to change direction, but it's like, you know, if you have a business and things aren't going well, uh, it's like, what? how can you use your powers of alchemy, right, to turn it into something that does well? <laughs> you know, are you doing the wrong things? Are you not paying attention to what works? Ten of wands. Ten of wands can be just wasting time. You know, so if you have a business, it's like, are you just doing things that just waste time? So you seem busy, but you're actually not busy, right? And, you know, I think some of the best bu business people in the world, they're really actually not that busy because they are they delegate, because they do things that are important. They focus on the 80-20 rule and all that other good stuff. Uh, same thing in relationships as well. It's like, I think people think, you know, relationships are supposed to be all dramatic, for example, but it's like, can you meet a person who isn't dramatic, who doesn't weigh you down, who doesn't cause a bunch of problems, right? And, you know, I don't know. There you go. With the uh, Ten of Wands, you have the Net of Swords. Um, Net of Swords says no rushing at this time. Yeah, it would take your time. It's a process. With the King of Cups, you have the Hangman here. Could be a Pisces coming in for some of you. Uh, for others, this is about gaining a new perspective. Um, you know, I, it's funny because I just did Virgo, and I, I said to Virgo, I have a feeling that uh, every single sign is going to have something about a perspective shift this week because every single reading I've done so far has been about a perspective shift. And you know, the, the uh, sorry, the um, the Star and the Hangman 
can represent a change in perspective. So I feel for a lot of people just in general that, you know, the the collective energy this week could be about changing perspective on, you know, what's important, what you want to work on, uh, what you actually want to, what the the world that you actually want to create here, Taurus, as well. You have this lizard spirit says, dream the world into being. You have this dove spirit says, be peace. Yeah. It's like, how can you invite more peace into your life? Ten of wands. That ten of wands, you know, sometimes I feel in a reading that there's one card that really stands out, which in this reading, it's the Ten of Wands. I feel that that if there's like one thing that you focus on this week, it would be that Ten of Wands. Focus on, um, you know, removing things that weigh you down, that steal your peace. This could be people, places, or things, doesn't matter. And I would also focus on your, um, what you are dreaming into the world. Like, you know, I think I said this to you in your last reading. I'm pretty sure it was you <laughs> that I said, you know, if I were you, I would be very focused on manifesting, on, uh, you know, kind of paying attention to things that you want to manifest, creating the things that you want to create. And, you know, maybe it would be a good time for you to like script, journal, write affirmations. It just seems to be like a very good manifestation time for you, Taurus. You have the two wands, the chariot and the page of cups. The chariot is a card of a victory. It's also a card of taking control over your situation or your life. It's as above, so below. There are these stars up here, these moons right here. So it kind of represents as above, so below. I feel like a lot of you could be creating uh, new things in your life. I do feel also that it is an amazing time for creative energy. I believe that if you look at the astrology, it really is going to be rewarding, um, you know, rewarding creating things just in the world in general. Could, But it doesn't have to be like art, it could be anything. <laughs> could be art, could be a YouTube video, could be you uh, creating more happiness in your life. It could be any of that stuff. So, you know, that's what I would focus on here with the chariot, definitely a victory. Uh, you have the two wands again, chariot, world, this card here, even the king of cups is a card of the home. So some of you, there could be a change happening in your home, you could be moving, or uh, there just could be some sort of change in your environment. Two of wands is about leaving a comfort zone. He's standing at the top of this castle and it just represents where he has always been. So if there are any comfort zones you could leave or if there are any changes you could make, now would be the time. You have the Page of Cups here. Page of Cups is kind of like a new opportunity. You can see the Page of Cups. He's got this fish in this cup here. And I feel for a lot of you uh, that that could be an opportunity that you want to take advantage of. It's almost like there could be a new opportunity that will lead to a lot of growth. And, you know, I do believe we're in a time of reinvention uh, as far as like the astrology is concerned and everything. And, you know, between now and like 2027, uh, my thing is, is like, I feel people have maybe established things over the last 10 years. Uh, you know, it could be a business, could be anything that you've established in your life. And it's like, you have it. So the thought of letting go of something and, you know, uh, starting a new business or, you know, starting something new in your life after you just got done, you know, do, like on some sort of marathon building something, you know, that can be a very scary thought. But, and I think that's where everybody is at right now. It's like, we all have things that we've been working on. It could also just be our identity, who we think we are, right? And, you know, that we, we could be, neat, you know, it's like the universe is calling everyone to grow is what I think. And so I feel like the universe is saying, let go of the old stuff, start building the new stuff. And, but that's very scary is like letting go of something that you think is secure for something else. Right. And so I, but I feel like everybody's feeling this energy right now. So don't be afraid to build is what this is saying. Now with the two of wands, you have the net of cups, definitely could be a knight in shining armor coming in for you. A pretty good love reading. I wouldn't say it's like a majority love reading. I just think that love is available to you if you want it. And it could be a very solid connection. It could be coming in from a distance as well, or there's just some sort of difference here. Um, you know, I do believe we're also in a time where love is different. So, you know, it, it doesn't surprise me. Uh, I'll just say that. With the uh, chariot, it's hilarious that I said building because the Knight of Wands is the card that I consider to be the builder in the tarot. He is willing to, anything he wants, he's willing to build it and he doesn't really care how he accomplishes his goals as long as he, he accomplishes them. He just, he, you know, he figures things out. It's like the chariot is where there's a will, there's a way. And the Knight of Wands is very similar. He has a desire to do something, build a relationship, start a business, whatever. And because he desires to do it, he does it. And so if you desire to do anything, I would just do it, you will be successful. Uh, with the Page of Cups here, you have the Four of Swords. Yes, yes, Four Swords. So I feel for a lot of you, you could be going through a healing or you need time to heal. Again, make sure to rest, relax, recover. I, I've said to other signs, there is like where the Venus retrograde is kind of like in a weird spot in Leo right now. And you know, I would just watch your health. Uh, you have this mountain road card. It says you are on the road to success. There you go. Definitely a lot of success in this reading. And you're on the road because you have the chariot. 
You have this bag. It says something important, such as a new job or a raise. Yeah, it's, you're, th there's clearly something new. We already know this. Tennis swords to the fool. Tennis swords to the world to the fool. <laughs> you know, that that is a new beginning if I haven't ever seen one. So there you go. Uh, you have this tower. It says solid foundation, success with effort. You know, so there is clearly, we do see effort here because uh, Knight of Wands, like I said, Knight of Wands, he sets out on a goal. He represents spontaneous energy, which again, you've been practicing this. We had those eclip that eclipse last year in Taurus. We're about to end this Scorpio Taurus eclipse season, whatever, uh, coming in October. So that will be like the end of this uh, Taurus uh, Scorpio eclipse cycle, basically. And, um, you know, what I would say here, is that I feel for a lot of you, you've learned how to be flexible. That's the thing with Knight of Wands is he has to be flexible. He has to be spontaneous uh, to create the things that he wants. Uh, you have this hills card. It says obstacles to overcome. They're just hills. They're not mountains. So don't turn uh, molehills into mountains, right? You have this funnel. It says period of frustration, lessons to be learned. I feel like you've been going through a period of frustration and now you're actually coming out of it. Uh, this looks really, really good. And again, I would look at those frustrating things as well and say, do you need those frustrating things in your life? The answer is probably not. So, you know, 10 of wands, think about it. But this looks pretty good. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.